Hi there YouTube, Big G back again with another video for you and this time a mod on my Atari 600XL these are lovely little machines one of the smallest 8 bits out there with a full keyboard really a quality machine the only limitation on this is this is only a 16k machine so today's mod is upgrading this 16k machine to a full 64k and uh, it's quite easy to do and uh, I'm going to take you through it so stick around okay guys I've taken apart my Atari 600XL and uh, I've exposed the innards now this is a very simple basic mod it does take a little bit of soldering so get the soldering irons out and uh, basically you're going to need to purchase um, two new 64k chips um, and the ones that I purchased you can see them over here let's bring them a bit closer hopefully it will focus in on them um, just make sure that they are the 464 chips you can purchase them on eBay they're quite cheap not expensive at all and uh, 100 nanoseconds in speed or faster and they should be fine uh, I purchased four of them and these were actually for my Spectra Video 3 to 8 repairs that I'm busy with so they're compatible so I'm going to use them in this mod now the first thing that I did was I actually removed the old RAM chips and you can see here the RAM chips here from U12, U12 on the board U11 I removed them replaced them with the two that I purchased the next thing that I did was U16 pulled it out of its socket hopefully yours is socketed it makes life much easier uh, if it's not socketed maybe you shouldn't do this this mod because then you're going to have to sol desolder and then resolder a socket in its place but anyway I might my board so uh, socketed so that makes it quite easily quite easy so I've taken out U16 and I put a bent up you can see here pin number 8 so if you count the pins from this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, bent it up, put the chip back in its socket again so that that pin is no longer in the actual socket, and then soldered a wire running from that pin number 8 through to this resistor over here, which I also desoldered, just pulled it out quite simply, and uh, that's resistor number R36 on the board and solder that up okay so that's step number two step number three U5 once again D socket U5 pull it out bend up pin number three so if you count from this side over here one two three bend up pin number three put it back in be very careful when you bend these pins up don't bend them right close to where the actual IC is bend the legs from the thinner part, just bend them up in like a U shape and then that should be quite safe, they won't break off or anything like that, well they shouldn't uh, break off unless you get a little bit rough with them, but then once again so I've bent up at pin number 3, replaced the chip back in its socket again and then soldered a wire running from that chip number 3 all the way through here to this power, you can actually solder it up to the top there but I prefer soldering it down here, it just gets a little bit neater and you can see there where I've soldered that pin number 3 I think that's line number 20 on the parallel chip but anyway you can see there it is there so I've attached it and then once again U number 6 removed the chip out of its socket bent up this time pin number 9 so counting from this side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 sorry pin number 10 my mistake so pin number 10 you can see there I've bent it up once again in a U shape and I've soldered a piece of wire running from there and I think that is uh, point number 18 on that parallel chip and uh, once you've done that and everything is in place when you boot up your machine you will now have 64k of RAM available on your Atari 600 XL okay guys I've neatened it up slightly not a hell of a lot you can see my work workmanship is not that good but uh, it works for me so basically I just took the glue gun and uh, just applied a little bit of glue there on the end of that resistor just to prevent anything from touching it just uh, hid this little wire away here by just gluing it down and then these two wires here as well just glued them down to the actual motherboard 
just to take them out of the way but uh, just to recap again guys for you um, the first step is to remove U12 and U11 these two chips over here and replace them with your 4464 chips as I've done over there they're the 4464 chips the second step is to pull up U16 here and to bend up pin number remember that runs from there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so pin 8 I bent it up sold it on there link that through to resistor number 36 you must remove resistor 36 from the board so you've got to desolder it and then solder that on there step number 3 is for U5 once again remove the chip from its socket bend up pin number 3 solder a wire running from pin number 3 through to you can't really see it now but uh, in the earlier uh, uh, part of the video you would have seen where I attached it through to on the uh, parallel uh, port or chip and uh, and then the last step is to remove the socket uh, chip from socket U6 lift up remember 7, 8, 9 uh, leg number 9 and uh, also solder and run it through and reattach it to um, the parallel port um, as I said earlier I will put links down to the actual videos where there's some pictures where you can see clearly very simple little mod now I'm going to put it back together again and uh, we can then uh, test it and see if I've got full 64k okay I've let it run through its memory test and uh, you can see there it has 64k um, each one of the little blocks is a K, uh, so that's 16, 32, 48, plus another 16K for the uh, basic. So that should give me 64K. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Cheers from me.